after the hugeness of Avengers Age of Ultron, we now have a smaller Marvel film coming our way, one that has crawled its way to the summer season. But don't worry guys, this film won't shrink your enthusiasm for future Ant-Man films. I'll stop now. <clears throat> So Ant-Man is the latest Marvel movie to come out this summer. It has a different vibe from most Marvel movies, but it definitely belongs in this universe and is a great addition to Marvel movies. So the Ant-Man of this movie is Scott Lang, played really well by Paul Rudd. He is an expert thief who has just gotten out of prison. Uh, but has a family and is trying to make up his jail time to his daughter. But then he gets recruited by Hank Pym, the original Ant-Man, who's trying to stop Darren Cross, the guy who's taken over Pym's company and is trying to take Pym's Ant-Man serum and basically weaponize it and use it for bad things instead of good things. And Scott is trained by Pym and Pym's daughter, Hope, to develop him into the Ant-Man. I think there was some trepidation around this movie. People didn't really know if it was good, if it was going to be a good addition to the Marvel Universe, but I think it turned out pretty well. Paul Rudd is the Ant-Man. He is awesome. It's a very Paul Rudd role, but at the same time he doesn't overdo it. He gives it the right amount of Paul Rudd to make it fun, but not, again, uh, not over the top but very much fits the humor of the movie, and he just has awesome comedic timing in pretty much every movie he's in. Evangeline Lilly, again, plays Hope, Hank Pym's daughter, and she's really cool in the movie, too. She and Michael Douglas work really well as father and daughter together. Michael Douglas also kills it in this movie, too. He's a great Hank Pym. I don't know that much about the original Ant-Man comics, but I do know that Hank Pym is the original Ant-Man and that in this movie he's passing the Ant-Man legacy on to Scott Lang. I actually don't know if his character was made up for uh, this movie and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so someone can tell me that in the comics if that's right or not. But to bring in the main weak point of the movie is the bad guy, Yellow Jacket, or Darren Cross, played by Corey Stoll. It is not Corey Stoll's fault, he does a great job. He just ends up being kind of a cliched villain, something we've seen before. The design of Yellow Jacket himself is really cool, like he is pretty badass looking. But character-wise, it's just pretty much everything we've seen before. The thing that would have made it made his character much more interesting is the fact that Hank Pym was his mentor. And there is a flashback <clears throat> in the movie very briefly to when Hank Pym is a little younger. If Darren Cross showed up in that clip to give a little more backstory to that relationship, that would have made him a lot more interesting and would have made him such a typical villain. But besides the whole mediocre villain, it's a really enjoyable, fun, movie. No, it's not on the same scale as Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's not supposed to be. Ant-Man is an unconventional superhero and they make it work in this movie. They work in the shrinking scenes really well and even the CGI ants, like, it's still all pretty entertaining to watch and they do a really good job with the Ant-Man character. And also they do make a lot of references to the Avengers and the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and they tied all of that in really well. And, but for being a great addition to the Marvel movies, for being just a, a fun, cool heist movie as well, which is a weird direction for Marvel movies to go in, but hey, again, it all works in this movie. So for all of that going for it, I'm going to give Ant-Man a nice and a half. So guys, have you seen Ant-Man? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And how do you think it ranks in Marvel movies so far? Okay guys, that is it for me. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Toodles!